What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be sheathing out this roof over here, getting this thing wrapped up. And then from there, we're gonna hop over to this far side, wrap that up. We still have the big great room to frame out, but man, this weather, it's nice right now. We have rain a little bit later today, rain a little bit tomorrow. Seems like it's never gonna let off for us. Now's about the time we play the intro and get to working.
opinion, this this is going out. We're gonna frame up our crickets right here. A cricket is used to divert water from puddling up and pooling in one section. So when you have a roof that runs into a wall just like this one here, you have to build a cricket. So when water comes down the roof, you create a valley for it to run off, off the side of the building. Instead of just pooling up right up against that wall, that'll create a bad leak. This place will rot out in no time. Give her a hard time. 139 in the
So it's been sunny all day long. It doesn't even look like it's supposed to rain and it just started pouring on us. It's actually coming down pretty good too. It's not just a little bit. You can see it way back over there. It looks like it's dumping. But here, this isn't right. So we're gonna load the tools up onto the lift. We're done out here. I'm gonna talk you guys through what we just built. This is called a cricket right here and it diverts water one way and another. To prevent that water from pooling up and creating a potential leak right here. Water will run off this way and this way. Oh my gosh. Everything is dialed in though and we are done. Five minutes later, it's done. We're out here getting it done. Little slow start to my morning. My pops and Jay came out a little bit before me, ran some subfascia and started sheeting. I just got out here right now. We're gonna hop to it though. We'll subfascia and fascia this, get this all prepped and sheet the rest of this out. Pa! Ah. Will you turn on compressor?
gun just jammed. The driver came shooting way out. Nail stuck sideways. We'll have to hit the driver back down in order to get that nail free. It'll shoot again. Unplug your hose before you work on anything. That was our problem. She shoots again. So we've got our subfacer ran all the way over to here, all the way back out over to there. All we have left to do over here is run our regular fascia up the rakes on both sides, all the way along here, and then sheet this out and it's done. I wanted to show you guys something that my grandpa came up with years ago. Kind of a cool little invention. So back in the day when my grandpa was doing tracks, he was doing huge developments out here. They did a lot of production framing. And when they would do that, you have to be as quick as possible and as efficient as possible. He came up with this tool right here. You're probably wondering what the heck is it. Some of you might know what it is. It's a cool little gadget that he came up with to hang fascia by yourself. So you could see you'd fasten it up. So you can see you'd fasten right here down to the tail, flush out with tail. This nut and bolt is adjustable for two by six, two by eight, two by 10, two by 12. And you set this up right here. You could do another one down there if you really wanted to have two of them set up and this facial will hold itself. I was going to use them, but we ended up just doing it all by hand. Jay hopped on a ladder real quick and it made it quick and easy. So this is a pretty cool method to use if you're by yourself or have help that can't get up onto the roof. So back in the day, they had to get things done as quick as possible. On housing tracks, quality isn't really all there, but quantity is. They would bang out quite a few homes. Just figured I'd show you guys that little invention though real quick. Let me know what you think down below.
So we just wrapped up this cricket behind me, full time lapse, full time. A lot of you guys were asking, well, what was going on with the roof? Many of you guys were quick to say that this was a poor roof design. It really isn't. We've got our cricket starting up here. It's gonna run the water down and out the side of the building and then down out the side of the building that way. I can assure you guys there is absolutely nothing bad about this roof design. I like it.